So, got the door primed, well, got it shellacked, and then got an all prime on it, just, just in case one fails. Now we've got it all sealed, all the joints, but we haven't lost the profile. Still got the profile, still got the V. Just went in with a very, very small, you can see it here. There you go, so you can see it there. Tiny, 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 tiny little nudge over cut so we don't get loads of cork out of it. Only want a little bit just to fill. And even if there's some not filled, the paint will do the rest of the work. So it's kind of a, a two way process. So there's a fair bit of caulking in it. But this means that a paint comes down, comes down, comes down into the joint and it has to sit and then come off rather than getting it in behind the joints and in behind, in behind any of the actual gaps. So the same has happened here as well. So from being varnished to a shellac to a all prime to caulking it all to top coat and then there'll probably be another top coat. So roughly in a job like this you can kind of see the amount of uh, paint and cork that has to go into it. Thanks. So at this stage here the gate has had a shellac uh, then an all prime and a couple of coats and we're kind of finishing the stages so just gone back over refilled everything and we're kind of on two touch-up coats I'd say from here on in to get this right sometimes the caulk shrinks a little bit and uh, sometimes there's rips so it just is a matter of coming back a couple of times to do it it's kind of important because well, it has to look right in the story you know and some, sometimes the caulk shrinks, which is fine uh, once you have time to make sure that you can come back and you can re caulk it and just let it settle. So I'll leave this for a couple of hours and just give it a light tan to one more coat. And then after that, um, there'll be a touch up coat. And we have to plane this area back because you can see when it was meeting, it was, sorry folks. Now we got the, we got the profile back and we got just not jammed anymore from where it was. So I need to redo all of the iron work with with a top coat, a couple of top coats. So it, it's kind of not um, it's not much work left in it, but it's just a little bit of three or four visits to come back and to do it, and not try to do it all at one time. Just keep revisiting it, and then there's a bit of old paint and you can see the varnish on the hinges and we'll leave that to very last we we'll just actually uh, put a little bit of paint remover on that and take them off and then the inside bit I haven't there's a little bit in the inside I just wanted to <coughs> not have two flapping doors because it is windy around here so we'll do that just just this tiny little bit of a reveal in there still needs to be done So, you can see here, I've got a gloss in the handles and the, uh, you can see where the filling is still drying. So, just need to let it dry and maybe even put a bit of primer on it or uh, another coat. So, we'll, we'll see either option will work. So, we'll just see how it is as the pulls in. Okay. I have to plane off a little bit, as I said earlier. We'll put a bit of ball prime on that as well. So here's a PVC door and we got an old prime on it. We got a great old prime on it there just just really kind of get a get a grab on it and then I'm going to put a green all prime on it as well second second primer on so it's got two and then it's going to match in with the the actual house itself so you can see it was a different color and we're going to bring it back in to match the same so 
hopefully we'll be able to get the texture right in that and take it from there. So here we are folks, we're getting a couple of coats on this and need to go back and address it. And trying to sand it off any of the blemishes, I'm going to give it another coat and then we'll take the paint off the windows as well. Okay. Hi Carl, Rory here, doing the job down in Dartry and just want to show you the ground it's um, and I need to get up to that dormer window there okay and here's the area in here so I need to get up to something that kind of can bridge me in or even up to that flat bit there and get up and then I can kind of get across to it and I have a safety harness once I'm up there and then there's this one here. I'm going to show it you. There's the garden path in. So I think we need some small one uh, rather than a large one. You can see the trees. And I need to get up to that dormer window up there. Okay. I'll give you a call later. Thanks, Carl. So here we are, folks. We're getting a couple of coats on this and need to go back and address it. And trying to sand it off any of the blemishes. I'm going to give it another coat and then we'll take the paint off the windows as well. Okay. So here we are here. Now, final touch ups needed. Um, so it's getting there. But final touch ups need. I'm going to leave it today. Sometimes you need to let things breathe and just give it 24 hours to actually really solidify in terms of coatage. So there's no rush, so we'll actually leave it today, even though it's lunchtime. But you prefer to leave it until tomorrow and put another coat on it. <clears throat> just got the third coat on which is the first top coat on still need to do the dormers but we'll do that so you can kind of see the finished color there certain get on hi Carl Rory here doing the job down in Dartry and just want to show you the ground it's um, and I need to get up to that dormer window there, okay? And here's the area in here. So I need to get up to something that kind of can bridge me in or even up to that flat bit there and get up and then I can kind of get across to it. And I have a safety harness once I'm up there. And then there's this one here. I'm going to show it to you. There's the garden path in. So I think we need some small one uh, rather than a large one. You can see the trees. And I need to get up to that dormer window up there. Okay. I'll give you a call later. Thanks, Carl.
So you can see here we have a little bit of chipped um, <coughs> putty, a little bit of cracking. And here's a new product that I'm using. And it's actual flexible putty out of a tube. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to seal the back. We've sanded this back and allows you to seal the back so there's no freeze thaw action and to clean it off. So. So now you can see the whole thing, I've gone up over it, but all the joints here are clean, and then I can come and cut it, and then I can paint it, and I'll show you one where it's cut. So here's the actual product itself, it's a hyperbred uh, styrene glaze and sealant, um, all purpose putty replacement, and you can use it in damp or wet areas, new glass, old glass, uh, single panes and it's paintable within there. Probably not completely an hour but I leave it overnight but it's a great product because it allows you to go from A to B very quickly as where putty's brilliant but it does take an age for it to fully dry. So this goes rock hard next day. You can even sand it back a little bit to get your profile right. And if you're still worried about free thaw action, you can even put a little bit of caulk on top of it as a double barrier. So absolutely super product, really is. So it might not look like much has happened here, but we've actually got uh, the wood hardener on that. So that will dry over the weekend. We're on Friday evening and that'll dry over the weekend which will allow us to uh, come in and to build up that profile back up on there. And you can see we've got some caulking up there done around the window. Uh, we got prime and ready to take the putty up there where, where it's good. We got a little bit of caulk going over the existing to make sure it's waterproof. Started to build up this profile. So we want to diminish that gap so you can see how far we got. Now we can't go much further because even though it's epoxy, it still takes a while to dry. So we'll keep building that, that profile back up to make it look better. And already from a distance, I think you can see it's better than it was. But we just need to level that off a little bit more. And then this baby has had two fills of uh, the epoxy on the timber work. And it's been sealed around so that one's pretty much ready to go and it's also had the putty sealed in as well around those joints um, and these ones are kind of along the same voids all sealed up uh, wood hardener on them and ready to get a primer which will reveal more sins but that's kind of what you want to do. You keep on wanting to see more imperfections and keep adjusting them as you go along. So, while they're not done, I think you can see that there is an improvement. And if you look up above, uh, it's hard to see from here. But if you look up above, you can see that these are looking better and they're looking a lot sharper even without the primer on it. So, you can see here we built back up the profile and we got it pretty smooth. This was the window with the, uh, the curve going down. So when it's shut, when it's shut, and I'll show you a video of that when it's finished. Deck is built back up the profile, so you can see uh, the slants off, and that's the way that we fill the slant off as well, so it looks uniform when you come on in. The, the other windows here is done as well, so we're just moving on those, and the upstairs windows are uh, all all primed. And you can actually see, uh, I'm losing the light, but you can actually see some of the, uh, 
some of the filler on that as well. There you go. You can actually see the filler on it. So they're all flush filled at this stage. I want to say flush filled, I mean the two part epoxy on them as well. So at this stage we are, the bottom windows are getting a couple of finished coats. The screen here is ready for finished coats. And you can see finished coats are happening here, but there's still adjustments going on. You're constantly looking, you're constantly prepping all the way um, until you're actually finished. So, and up above has had two undercoats. Uh, so we start to get some top coats on them now. And it's a little bit hard. Usually it might take a hoist in to do this work but because of the actual trees very very hard to get a truck in or you have a couple of options with the hoist trucks and you have scissor lifts and you you got suspended uh, outreach arms off of off, uh, off a stationary unit so but because of this branches is kind of hard uh, but we'll see so that's these ones along the sides are done um, so that's where we are we're on finishing coaches at this stage